Look at this weather. Not the best weather for testing. I don't know what's happening in Melbourne at the moment, but there you have it. So what we have here is uh, 78 panels. And then another 78 over there, that's 156 in total. Or uh, 12 strings of 13. 13 panels, why? Because it's under 600 volts and it just happens to fit this roof nicely with a little walkway in between right where the joint is, which is good because I think that joint's going to need maintenance. So, strings of six, uh, 13 to keep under 600 volts and uh, 1, 2, 3 in parallel into one tracker. That's the most you can put in a tracker for this brand of panel without string protection because it has a 20 amp reverse current uh, rating and uh, two of them in parallel is under that it's about 19 and a half or something which can't drive a fault current through a faulty string so that's how that comes about and we've got the same here into another tracker another string of uh, three strings here and we're saving a fortune on cable tray and cable ties and all this nonsense that's not really applicable in solar. But this uh, much cheaper option here, galvanised square tubing. I've joined it together by sticking 32 mil conduit in each end here. Could only get about 100 mil in each side because it was pretty darn tight. So, and here's the other one. Same thing again. 13 per string, three strings into one tracker and same over here that one's split in half because of the shadows from these trees well we're not going to be doing much in this weather but let's get off the roof I'm just going to attach this camera to a drone so I can use two hands on the ladder and make it legal Right, oh, another job coming in the near future there. So let's go inside, have a look at these inverters. The Fronia Simo inverters, 20 kilowatt inverters. And as we can see, they're not doing much in this weather. There's another one down there. Right, oh, two trackers per Simo. Well, first of all, we've got some cables coming from the roof in DC, and then we've got uh, AC coming along here with a bit of data into this grid protection box, which is very expensive, required by United Energy uh, to protect the grid from over voltage and whatnot. There's the two inverter isolator switches and the main switch. Goes to this uh, main switchboard here. Bottom left, there it is. So, to turn this system off, flick that. And then turn off each of these. Isolator switches to the left for the DC. That's what it says up here. Turn off the AC inverter main switch first. Uh, and then the PV array DC isolators, which are there and there. Or, if you want to keep one inverter running, and the other one not, switch them off individually. Always switch the AC off first, this one or this one, because uh, it takes pressure off the uh, DC isolator switches here which have to switch a heavy DC current if you don't. And that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at what it's doing on this computer. My password. Yeah, it's the comma next to the enter button. Alright, so what? There it is. It's only doing 5.21. Those air conditioning systems on the roof are really pulling a load as you can see. 29.7 I really wanted to see this uh, system running at full capacity because it has a kilowatt hour meter on it 
to show you earlier and some current transformers in this main switchboard which uh, limit the export to zero and these at full power will do 40 kilowatts and if the air conditioning is doing 29 that means it should be trimming each of these back to about 15 kilowatts each or 14 and a half I should say if I want to do my maths better so what a crap day for this but nonetheless oh yeah here we go usage well look at this look at this weather here scroll down this is the Fronius solar web today rain near yeah, no kidding well heavy cloud anyway so that's that and uh, I'll stop rambling <laughs>